Okay, I wasn't sure if this was recording. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Ramadan life with Hasna. It is about five in the morning and I started, I don't know, maybe 15 or so minutes ago. I had so much energy before Fajr that I decided to go for a quick bike ride and I think this is such a good time because right now it's just very peaceful the streets are not filled with too many people and yet yeah, there are many people up very early getting their food ready that they're gonna vend for the rest of the day you have those individuals that still they're up 4 30 they're up five o'clock preparing for what it is that they need to do and they know that the earlier that they start the better it's going to be and I started to realize from before that anyone who wants to excel on any level they have to get up early in the morning and you find this whether it's people who are trying to advance on an economic level on a financial level or whether it's those who are trying to improve themselves on a physical level or even on a spiritual level so with athletes or with people who are serious about fitness before I came here I would sometimes go to the gym and I was very intrigued by being one of the first people at the gym I like that idea it made me feel like wow like I'm I'm ahead of the game everyone else is asleep and I'm at the gym and I wasn't always the first person but that feeling of being there early and seeing who's dedicated and wanting to be with that that crowd that group that small group that was truly dedicated to their fitness so you would see the athletes and you would see just people who are dedicated they're five o'clock 5 30. uh the same thing with individuals that i've seen who had the goal of being multi-millionaires and wanting to be wealthy they're out pretty early in the morning so it's the same thing when i look at the training that i received as a child getting up early for the first prayer for fajr that's something that i grew up seeing my parents get up at that time uh, so that was that was a concept that was indoctrinated within me from a very young age and it's funny how at times people look at the term or the word indoctrination sometimes not in the most positive light but all of us are indoctrinated and I think that we have to look at the end result of our life and see whether or not that doctrine that teaching that uh, concept that our parents have given to us has it really benefited us or not and I would say honestly that getting up early for prayer, for Fajr, pre-dawn, is a wonderful practice. It's been, it's something I'm very grateful for because it's easy for me. If I want to get up early, I can get up early. And yeah, it's just, it's just a part of who I am. Uh, sometimes the issue is not always getting up though, is staying up. And we are taught in Islamic tradition that the time before dawn is a sacred time and up until the sun rises there's so much benefit if you stay up there's so much benefit if there's something that you want to achieve that right after Fajr you try to achieve it could be studying it could be cleaning it could be something pertaining to fitness but there's so much baraka so much so many blessings in that period of time so I love these lanterns here you can't really see with this camera that I have the original phone that I had uh, the HTC it had phenomenal video phenomenal phenomenal uh, what would you say image capturing a really great camera so I just I'm making do with what I have right now and I'm grateful for what I have right now uh, but yeah but I won't be able to really show the true beauty of the lanterns so yeah, just riding this bike that I've been renting for 50 baht a day and trying to see if I could also just have a, a, a deal because I do want to have a bike always uh, in my access. And so yeah, I'm going to continue. I'm going to go on bike a little bit more, pray Fajr, and that'll be it. And this is day one of my 10-day raw endeavor because 
I didn't post this video, but I know that 100% raw is a goal, is a outcome. Uh, actually, I wouldn't say that's the outcome that I want. The outcome I want is to be healthy, is to be vibrant. And if that happened to be eating cooked food, so be it. But it just so happens that my body seems to like a combination um, or really seems to be happy when I eat the raw foods. I, I think the combination aspect is more mental. It might be with parasites. A lot of us don't realize that we do have parasites inside of us that thrive off of sugar, that thrive off of the refined foods, that thrive off of the meats and the dairy and us having mucus in our system and being acidic. We have parasites in our body that thrive off of that. And as soon as we start to make a really positive change, as soon as that happens, they go crazy. And there's studies and, and there's documentation and, and studies that show that, these par that parasites do have the ability to influence an organism's choices and, and we'll even say mental state and what they're attracted to because they want something and then they're able to influence the organism to also want that something. So I believe that, or I'm convinced that sometimes what I believe is what my body wants or what I think I want. Oh, oh, I really want rice. <laughs> my body wants rice. No, my, my body doesn't want rice. I want rice. My parasites probably want rice. Um, other aspects of just conditioning. And, and again, in Thailand, everywhere I walk, I'm smelling fried rice. I mean, you can get vegetarian forms, you can get with egg, you can get with shrimp. Uh, but it smells so good. It smells really good. And uh, it's been about a week now. Yesterday would be would be a week or today, right? No. Yeah, yesterday would be a week and one day. Today is a week and two days, so nine days I've been here. And I think that, you know, I can get over it. I've, I've tasted it. I know what it tastes like. It tastes delicious. Um, but I can't say it has served me and my higher purpose. So I have to keep that in mind when I am walking and it's just so easy to just go on the side and just get some food because street vendors are everywhere. We're used to having street vendors when there's an event, when there's a festival, when there's um, you know some type of conference going on and then you have vendors outside. This is just every day. So my brain has to also realize this is not a festival. <laughs> this is not a time for you to necessarily indulge. This is just life. And you have the raw foods, you have people selling fruit everywhere. There's no excuse. There's absolutely no excuse. Because right next to those vendors with the fried rice and the vegetarian egg rolls or whatever you want to call them. Um, I don't even know if they're always with egg. But right next to them is someone selling a smoothie. And right next to them is someone selling a cup of strawberries, fresh strawberries, with a little toothpick that you can, or a long toothpick that you can use to eat them. Right next to them is someone with big slices of watermelon, passion fruit, papaya. There's no excuse. Day one, raw foods, raw challenge, raw endeavor, Chiang Mai, peace and blessings. Love to all of you. Asalaamu Alaikum.